that's what it's all about, folks. The UWA Tag Team Championships. And I can't believe Seth and Barnes they actually asked the referee to pull up their fake-ass titles right there, too. Man, how can you see these guys are getting this? So it looks like... So it looks like the match is going to start in the middle of the ring with sex and violence. And pimps... Then we have, like, Pablo Furioso. Pimps and thugs. And I know, as I said right here, that the Mythbusters and the Suicides are fighting the building, but they're fighting about the building. They're not even in the ring right now. We only have one camera so far, and hopefully we can keep to pull the action right now. But for now, it's just all out chaos here in the middle of the ring. It's Eugene Stalin on the outside getting that, that chair. Anything goes here in this match. Is he, he's using it with no remorse. From the town. Cataract and Robert Furioso. Also, Mitchell up top. He doesn't decide to jump, though. Going off the wall for that vicious kick to the face. And that's some shoulder blocks. That's got the Gene and Gene turns it around. Just put pressure on. Wait a minute, that breaking up. Now there's the Mythbusters and, and the Suicide that's fighting on the stage here. So we finally, finally got another camera back there. Seems on the rampway and they've got the steel steps. That's never a good sign. Oh, look at that. Gene climbing in and those steps. Take out all star bad. The Battle of St. Louis method is all about false counting anywhere, anything goes. And remember, if you get pinned or eliminated, that doesn't mean your whole team is out of the match. Every, every time, if you get pinned, that leaves your partner by themselves until he gets eliminated, if he does. And there's a death lob there with that neck breaker. Yeah, it's going to be this here. Elimination match until the very last man, and whoever that last man is, that, that's going to happen, he and his partner will become the new UWA Tag Team Champion. Adam going up to All Star. Death Rob working on Jamie Hyman. He's got him in a Boston Crab. Look at that. He's Death Rob is tossing Adam Sutton with a piece of trash. Wait, Wait a minute. Oh no. Now there, that was a fight break on the crowd between Gene Starwood and Cataract. Now look where they are. Right in front of our fans. Where will these guys, where will these guys how far will they go to take this fight? They're just walking right over our fans. They can take this match outside. They can take it all the way out, you know, all the way up under the Gateway Arch. They can take this all the way out to East St. Louis. They can take it out to, into the hood. Who knows where they can go, they can go downtown, on top of one of the downtown skyscrapers. Who knows what it's going to stop these guys from doing what they have to do to win this you match. See that walked up a bulldog through the chairs. On the cataract, and now and look at this. Chance Star with this classic juke and drive move. The fans are loving this, man. Yeah, they came to see a great show, and this is what they're getting so far. And oh, they're going. This Gene Star is dominating cataract here out in the crowd area. Repeated backbreakers. What strength. And what a clothesline. He's sort of just running away here. Where the hell is he going? No. Wait a minute! Now there's a fight outside! Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a sofa in the UWA. I've never seen a sanctioned match take place on the outside, at least on such a grand stage of pandemonium. If Ross River Mitchell and Papa Furs are just fighting around outside Bush Stadium here, and this round here on Broadway just beating the crap out of each other. Oh, look at Pablo's taunting. I don't think Ross is going to have that. They're fighting on the street here. They're not even, you know, they're stopping cars right now. Pablo, Irish whip from them. Bulldogs on right on that concrete. And that's concrete, folks. That's not good. And that leg drag takedown. There go, Ross. Thinking DDT. Okay. Over the clothesline, Paul turned it around. Paul sets him up. And fighting out here on the streets. And this method is definitely in more in Pablo Furioso's element. The longer this fight goes on, it's not going to look so good for Ross River to admit. Ross has got him up though. Back body drop. Wait a minute. 
Wait, now hold no, on. Jake Starwin's out here. With, this is, now it doesn't look good for Pablo Frioso. Look, there's a sex and bond just giving Pablo the boots. Just turn this around on Pablo Frioso in the quickness. I guess that's where he went. When he left All-Star, he went outside the arena. He was running away. He's running toward the outside of the arena. And he's here to back up his sex and violence partner, Ross over to Mitchell. It doesn't look good for Paul Frioso. He's getting double teamed. Oh, wait, he's bringing it back. Oh, no. No, this is on. Oh, my God. Power bomb. Damn. Look at that impact. He slammed him on his, him on his neck on the concrete. Wait a minute, he did something with Ross River Mitchell. Take them both out. Whoa, and that just knocked him out. Called the referees with that, calling that a knockout. He now found her first elimination by Ross River and Mitchell. Now we're backstage in the backstage area with Jimmy Heineman getting powerbombed repeatedly by also bad He finally got a camera back there. Another powerbomb from Ulsar. He's going up on the ladder. And this fight just broken all over the arena and it's a matter of minutes. We have a six minutes, 12 seconds into the match. We only had one elimination, Ross River and Mitchell. And this fight is, and so far this whole entire match is up. Like 90% of this match hasn't even been fought in the ring. Jamie's got that steel trash can. That's exactly what, but, but these fans pay to see. This is exactly what these, everyone wanted to see. It's an all out brutal, Carnage is fighting all over the arena on the grandest stage. Also, Batman surprising right back up from that steel, that steel can shot. But now, oh, this is suplex by Jamie. Also, again, getting right back up like he's not even affected. Look at that. Looks like also Batman won that table ladder fight there. And now we're back into the ring. Now we have. Cataract on the outside while Death Rob and Adam Center duking it out. Now he brings in a sledgehammer. He's going to town with that sledgehammer. Oh, the ref. Takes out the ref with that vicious drop kick. Well, Adam, though. Adam's getting tossed across the ring. And Death Rob has that sledgehammer. Oh, Jamie, and Adam, I should say, picks down Cataract. Death Rob is now looking at that chair. Oh, look up. Look at Death Rob here. Going high risk. Oh, my God. What a leg drop. What a 360 leg drop off the top rope. This could be it right here. That was amazing. Look at this. That double team by Adam Savage and Death Rob brings the end of Cataract. That's what you gotta do in this one stay alive. And now Pablo Frioso and Gene Stone have come back in the squared circle here. And that was the biggest leg drop I've ever seen in my entire life. Now we have ourselves at a fatal four-way in, in the middle of the ring. Exactly. Oh, a huge suplex by Gene Starwin. Gene Starwin after the Oh, Pablo Frioso though. Iron Swift into the corner. He saw went oh with a vicious chair shot. Wait a minute. Now Gene Starwin's got Paul Frioso up. And Gene Starwin just loves those suplexes. He was so devastating. Paul Frioso right back up though. He's on the outside. Catching his breath, but Gene Starlin says not on and down. He twists him down with that business German uppercut. Now he's got the sledgehammer, he's wailing on him with it. Oh, no. Exposing Spanish announce table right next to us. Oh, so still laid out on that table. Now he's back up. Oh, what a huge moonsault! I didn't know you could do that. What athleticism of Pelt for Yoso. Totally out of kind of characteristic of Pelt for Yoso. As Gene and Pelt for Yoso are fighting on the outside. We got All-Star and J Adam Savage on the inside. And 
Adams getting his faces. Oh no, All-Star though. Huge suicidal dive for him there. And how is Adams still back up when he decides to taunt? And counters. Also turns it around. Also with strength. Some vicious slam. Adam getting right back up though. And he blocks it. Also blocked that one. Takes him down that sweep. No remorse from Alsa here. And the double team maneuver. Alsa set him up. Oh, that was quick. That was over quick. 